Hello guys, and in today's video we're going to be going over my raid loadouts. So, to answer like the question right now, I don't really have one simple raid loadout. I have tons of them, tons of possibilities about what I will be using. It really depends on what the encounters are and everything like that. So, But I will go over what I have right now. Currently I'm using a Fatebringer, a Truth Teller with blinding grenades, auto-loading, Swashbuckler, and then Gallahorn. But as I said, I have a lot of options on the table here. I have the Subsistence Frenzy LMG, uh, tar or Triple Tap Firing Line, a lot, of, a lot of things on the table. All of these are all PV weapons that can or will be good in the raid. I am not sure. We'll, we'll all have to find out together. But these are all exotics that could potentially be good. These gauntlets are something... I don't know people have really paid too much attention to. They give you like 90 or 95 damage resistance. And then, uh, you know, I have six coyote, get an extra dodge, Omnioculus, Orpheus rigs, Frosties. I'm not, uh, these, these are not really too important. Void 3.0 is what I plan to be going in with. But as you've seen before, those uh, gauntlets are for stasis. So I'm going to, I believe this is a stasis build that I'd want to use. So, uh, you know, like I said, there is a lot of things that will be good. Like this is this is one loadout. I potentially could swap to my Cartesian coordinate. I might swap to my Summit Seraph SMG and put on my Succession or my Heritage or my Pardon Our Dust. Or I might go to Sweet Sorrows or, you know, my Nation of the Beast. You know, if you're wondering where these weapons are, I guess I could say this is from the Last Wish Raid. I believe Summon Seraph SMG is a world drop. Here's my roll. I'm going to quickly glance over the perks. Pol Polygon Rifling, Extend Mag, 4 Time Charm, Vorpal, Reload Masterwork. Uh, and then, like, in the Kinetic slot here, like I said, there's the Fatebringer. You get this from the Vault of Glass. You can actually get it this week, actually. There, there is some people doing Masters, and if you're high enough level, like if you're 1580, or fi well, well, no one's 1580 right now, but if you're 15, like 70 something, like I am, I think I'm 15, 76, you can definitely make a good attempt at it. If As long as everyone in your group is also around that light, so. Uh, I have the 7 Seraph Auto Carbine. Uh, this could be a little bit better if it had 4 times the charm, but it's still pretty good. I use that. Those are good with Warmind Cells. Warmind Cells aren't as good anymore. Uh, I personally use Taking Charge and like Protective Light or Argent Ordnance because I just, I feel like that helps with survivability. Um, yeah, but pretty much these are all like, you know, I, I have two snipers in each slot that are good for DPS. This is, this is a good DPS sniper, like in terms of, you know, very short period of time. It's also pretty good for sustain because I guess you are shooting, I don't know, like 10 bullets over, you know, I don't know, a pretty long period of time, I guess. I have two rockets here. I have this rocket I just crafted, and then I have this rocket as well that has explosive light. Uh, a lot of people are on the fence about what one is better. Uh, in terms of DPS, I believe explosive light is better, but I'm not 100% about that. I was told that there's some issues with explosive light in Wolfpack rounds. Like, Wolfpack rounds don't always do the... Uh, they, they don't always do the extra damage that they should. Like, they don't always get the explosive light buff. And they're kind of bugged right now. So that's why I did not make them in the enhanced rocket that. And, and also, I already have a roll here, pretty much. I can co kind of cover both the bases by making, you know, this one lasting impressions. I've also never gotten a lasting impressions, like, impact casing uh, auto-loading rocket, so. It feels nice to, like, finally have one of those after all this time. Although I did have to craft it, I still, you know, have it, so. That feels nice. Um, Whisper of the Worm is a really, really good, uh, you know, DPS option that we haven't seen used in raids because it's just been so bad, but they did nerf it, or buff it, rather, recently, so. That might be good. Sleeper might be good. Uh, I do not have Divinity here, but if Divinity is needed, I can pull it out. I am a hunter, which means, you know, I, I don't know. I could definitely be using Divinity. Like I said, not what I have right now. I figure in terms of my raid group, I probably have some of the best roles on my weapons. 
So in, in terms of DPS at least, so I figure the odds that I am using Divinity are very low, but you know, if it's needed, I can use it. Let's go over some of my aspects and fragments on my Night Stalker Void build. So currently I'm using Deadfall. Uh, I, I've been using this in the Wellspring because I feel like Deadfall is more useful to just the team as a whole because I'm able to tether multiple targets and kind of more effectively add clear than I would be with Mobius Quiver. However, Mobius Quiver is very good for DPS. It's insane how much DPS this shit does, actually. It actually compares to, like, Nova Bomb. I think it's actually better than Nova Bomb at the moment. It does... It's better than Nova Bomb, and it does about the same damage. When you have Orpheus Rigs, by the way, you do need Orpheus Rigs for it to do as much damage as possible because you get an extra three shots or whatever, like an extra or I guess quiver yeah with uh, movie screw you get extra quiver um, and it does around I think 350k I don't know it does it does you know a couple hundred K damage and it does about the same damage as falling star and if you have the right buffs on like I think devouring depths and maybe suppressive darkness you can do like 400k damage 450k maybe 500k I'm not I don't remember the numbers on that exactly Anyway, Quiver is a very good DPS super, and I could, I may potentially be using that, whether, it depends on whether or not it's needed. If not, I'm going to use Deadfall, because once again, I feel like Deadfall is really good for ad clear, um, and just keeping enemies down and, uh, like, out of the fight for the most part. And I'm using Trapper's Ambush and Vanishing Step, and a Vortex Grenade with... Strafe jump, probably gonna put that to triple just for PvE. My gambler's dodge to get my smoke back just in case I need to make people invis or just in case I need it for a debuff. That's one thing about Deadfall as well is Deadfall does last longer on the field um, than Quiver. So in terms of a debuff, I, I feel that it is better. But, you know, it's, it's neither here nor there. I, I'll be swapping between these two. I'm definitely not gonna be using Spectral. Spectral is horrible for PvE. Do not ever use Spectral. Uh, you are like actually trolling if you use spec and then i guess i mean all things are on the table here i could even potentially play arc strider uh this helmet is very underutilized but it i don't know i, I i'm gonna level up here it's it's not something that's talked about but that could potentially be very good uh one build i have here i don't know yeah okay i have the boots leveled up one build i have is nighthawk could always use nighthawk have Argent Ordnance as well with it. Uh, and then, you know, Arc Strider, I'll put on this helmet, Blight Ranger. Uh, and then for Stasis, I am probably going to be putting on these Renewal Grass. What they do is they dust field grenades have a larger effect and reduce damage for the allies inside the well or inside the field. So you get like a 95 or I don't know, it's a very big damage reduction. And in PvE in particular, this can be huge like this can be like game changing i think as well i have uh let me look i believe i have grasp of avarice armor somewhere i know i do i have it somewhere i'm not exactly sure but you are able to put seasonal mods on that armor if i have a chest piece that would be huge i don't think i do on my hunter though however i do on my titan warlock and one thing you may notice once again is that i won't be covering my titan warlock those things are on the table for me I'll, i can play all three characters and i'm willing to however right now i am just starting on my titan war or on my hunter because i mean for the main reason that like my group i i pretty much am the only hunter main and i kind of want to just you know cover anything that is needed for us to succeed like i I'm not, i don't mind playing whatever the fuck i have to play so i am however going to be starting on hunter so uh let's see eh, i'll mess with that later but anyway that is you know a summary of what I'll be running for day one. I don't really have any exact loadout. I do have a bunch that are on the table and that will be being used. I didn't go over these, you know, my first and last out. This is a really good slug shotgun option. And then my heritage which is also a really good slug shotgun option. I have some one-two punch shotties as well, but I, I don't really think that one-two punch. I, I As I'm recording this video, it, it will probably be disabled or like not around. We will see though, might be. 
um, but I do have one two punch and trench barrel but these are all the weapons that I could fit in my inventory one DPS once again uh, that is super good I didn't say it earlier but like lasting impression or just auto loading rocket and then Izzy is, is super good for DPS right now I think that's like probably the best DPS option or one of the best DPS options in the entire game uh, there's also I think volatile flow with void weapons um, on some of the rockets, but I do not have any void rockets, so I'm just gonna have to opt out of that. I could use my threaded needle for that, I guess, but anyway, we'll make that the video. I hope you'll enjoy. Good luck in the raid for everyone that's playing in day one, and uh, I hope you guys are. This this video will be coming out sometime before the raid, and as this is out, uh, I will be on Twitch doing day one raid with Cruiser and some of his friends and myself, obviously. So if you uh, want to watch my attempt at Worlds First and day one. Uh, please go make sure to check me out on Twitch. Uh, see you guys there. Later.